another edition of Tipsy Upon a Marvel. And now I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I have just checked into the Double Tree in Fort Lauderdale and I'm waiting for my room. I'm a little bit upset because it's 30 minutes after the time I'm supposed to check in and now the elevators are down. And I was expecting to head straight to the beach. So as soon as I get to my room, I'm gonna give you guys a quick room tour. So stay tuned. So I'm back. So the elevator is down. There's only two elevators working. It's very busy. I guess I didn't realize it's spring break weekend. So it took 20 minutes for us to get on the elevator to get to our room. So before I change the hits of the beach, I wanna give you guys, of course, a room tour. So I'm staying in 1609. And it is a partial ocean view with a Juliet balcony king bed. So let's take a look. So I was undecided if I wanted to share this room with you guys or not. But I thought I would go ahead and show you so you can see how far you can stretch your dollar in Fort Lauderdale. So I used my points to book this uh, hotel and I didn't realize until after getting to Fort Lauderdale that it was spring break. So it was a little bit more expensive. I paid a little over $200 um, per night, but I did check for the dates and it goes around $150 for the king room. So yeah, so this is the bathroom, and like I said, no thrills, pretty basic, but I do want to share with you so you can see how far you can stretch your dollar. If you're thinking about coming to Fort Lauderdale, I know it's still spring break and the summer is coming up, so this would be a good cost-effective option. Yes, I'm going to show you everything. The toilet, the tub, every nick and cranny of this hotel room. Because you need to know what you're going to be spending your money on. And the one thing I could appreciate about this hotel, even though it's a bargain, was that everything was really nice, neat, and clean. The bedding was nice and soft. And that's refreshing. Because sometimes you don't know what you're in for. But that's why you have me tipsy upon arrival is on the scene <laughs> but yeah so it had this nice little seating area and then this is the best part of the room the juliet balcony no it's not a full balcony but it was just enough i don't see myself sitting out there on the 16th floor but i did come out every morning with a cup of tea and just gaze at the view like this is perfection it's perfect If you have any questions about this hotel, make sure you drop them down below. I'll also leave a link below of my Fort Lauderdale vlog. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, babes, travel the world.